with, with open apex so we are going to see when and how uh, this is uh, possible but uh, before we start i would like first to give a small uh, introduction uh, about myself um, i am uh, my name is nestor zibulas i am from uh, greece i live in uh, athens which is a very historical and beautiful uh, city i graduated uh, here from the campus to Amsterdam and uh, the Netherlands, which is a fantastic country with uh, great people. And uh, I had an amazing, amazing time in, uh, in the Netherlands, having the opportunity to follow the three-year postgraduate course at ACTA. And uh, since uh, 2016, I have, uh, I'm working in a practice limited in endodontics. I was for uh, three years in The Hague. And uh, over the last year, I moved back to Athens permanently to work here in the center. Um, I've been an author and co-author in several publications. And um, also thanks to the past president of the IEDT, Professor Nestor Koenka, who is also, by the way, one of the next speakers uh, coming uh, next weekend. He gave me the opportunity to translate the IEDT Tooth SOS app in the Greek language. Just a few words about this app. I think that this app should be uh, in every mobile device uh, of uh, everyone all over the world if we want to save teeth and smiles. Uh, for the dentists, uh, it gives them a very quick access to the guidelines, but also for the patients, it is very uh, helpful because it provides with easy uh, emergency steps uh, when we want, uh, when we have a dental trauma situation. So I strongly recommend uh, also the dentist to encourage their patients to download it. Before we continue, I would like to make clear that uh, I don't have any conflict of interest related to any of the products or manufacturers that you will see during this presentation. So in the scope of this presentation, we will start uh, with the uh, open apex. We will try to define what is uh, an open apex. And then we are gonna see how open apex is related to dental trauma and how to diagnose immature traumatized teeth. And at the end, we are gonna see uh, all the treatment options that we have. We are gonna analyze them and uh, see what are the difficulties uh, of treating such teeth. So let's kick it off with the first one. And the question, what is actually an open apex? The term open apex uh, is defined to, is often described uh, as an exceptionally wide apical foramen in which the preparation of an apical stop is impossible, or if we say, we can say also very difficult to achieve. Um, there can be several reasons that, we, that can create an open apex situation. For example, there can be developmental reasons, or there can be resorption, or there can be iatrogenic reasons. However, the number one cause of, den of an open apex situation is dental trauma. And especially, uh, this happens uh, between the early and middle uh, ages of the mixed dentition, which means between age six and 10. Let's see now how the stages of root development were classified in the past. Maurice, uh, in 1963, was the first who tried to give a classification of the root development and apex formation. So what we know so far is that uh, we can have, uh, uh, the development can be classified in one fourth of root length, two fourths of root development, three fourths and four fourths. And this can take usually two to three years from tooth eruption until the root is fully mature and apex uh, formed. The, with regards to the apex development, uh, this can be classified in an open apex in the first three categories. And if we have a root that is fully formed, he described a half open apex and a closed apex. This classification was also adopted by Andreasen in his studies. Another very old study from uh, Frint in 1966 
this is one of the first outcome studies of uh, treatments of immature teeth. He tried to describe the apical uh, configuration. So he gave three different types of apex. We have the divergent apex, uh, which is funeral shape at the apical third. And uh, this is also called blunderbuss. And this is the most difficult uh, type of apex to treat because the, the apical walls are divergent and it's very difficult to reach and disinfect at these areas. We have the parallel ones where the canal walls are parallel to each other. And we have the tapered where the canal lumen is slightly convergent towards the apex. However, the question